This is my video demonstrating the wiring job and my, how I installed my two fog lights. These are crate fog lights. They are $40 at Parts Connection and they are brighter than anything at night that you can purchase from Canadian Tire or Apprentice Auto. So the first thing I did with my truck was I had to make sure my lights were equal distance away from my other lights or else then they would look off-sided and almost ruin the look of my nice truck. So I measured, I believe it was like three inches from from this corner here inward and I drilled downward. Well, you make sure that you're not going to drill into anything first. These steel bumpers here are less than, I think they're only like eighth inch steel or something. They're not too bad and they're easier to drill through than you think. Then these come with a bolt and you just drop it in there and have someone up on top of here hold the light in place, aim it to where you want it to be aimed and just loosen then tighten the bolt that's on the underside of it. I used a half inch drill bit. I then fed the wires underneath to keep them as close to the vehicle as I could, like to the frame, keep them away from my fan. I brought them up, of course I put them in loom. And then, I drilled a hole for my ground. And just, well, screw that in there. I crimped both ground wires from, be from both fog lights to this ground wire here. And then, well, it's grounded into the truck. As far as the power wire goes, I crimped both of them in there too. And this blue wire here is coming up from down there to the back. Now, this is the switch that came with this kit, on and off. Simple wiring here. Battery cable, which was my blue one, and my white cable, which was to power uh, my lights. So I have one cable, the blue one, come from my battery, all the way in, and plugs into here. And then coming out of this, I have my white cable, which comes through. I have, again, you should always keep them like protected from the water and everything. My light cable will go into each of the lights. So in summary, each light has its own ground and own power. I grounded, I took each of the ground wires and I crimped them into one and ran them up into here. And I took both the power wires, crimped them into one, and ran them into the cab. At the same time, I took my blue wire and then my power wire, and ran that into the cab as well. And I cut them both onto here. That way your truck's the ground, you get your power from your battery, and it comes out to your fog lights with a simple little switch. And as a side note, the switches that come with these kits are cheap. They are cheaper than those of Canadian tires, so just go save yourself some pain, pain and headaches and buy yourself another switch. And what I did was I drilled two holes in the back here, one for each wire to come in, and I just I just soldered them on here, that's a two second job. I, tr I soldered them, I drilled a hole in this, pulled off the cover off my dash, and these old tricks are just four screws, and uh, just put them on, pushed this back in place, and heaven forbid, I super glued it in place.